All right, are we almost done? We will never be almost done. Oof. So yeah, just make your way in there. Don't be afraid. Are you sure this is safe? It's kind of. Kind of is not safe. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leonard Young and I'm a chef. Well, I wasn't always a chef. I studied engineering until my love for all things food completely took over my life. I live here in Singapore, one of the greenest cities in the world, a food haven, and a melting pot of so many different cuisines and cultures. I love it. I'm going to take you on a very special four-part journey across Singapore. Welcome to The Sustainable Foodie. Today, I'm in a fascinating but unexpected place, which also happens to be one of the tallest buildings in Singapore. This is Level 51, Capita Spring. Look around me, I'm in a beautiful green oasis in the middle of the sleek central business district on the top floor of this skyscraper. Everyone wants to eat healthy, clean, and of course, tasty food. As a chef and a foodie, I'm constantly meeting people that are more and more conscious about where the food is coming from and what goes into it. So if you're conscious about your food origin, well, you've come to the right place. Singapore is known for her slick skyline, but Singapore has farms too. I'm not just talking about her past when there were plantations across the island, but also how we've taken to growing our own food to new heights. I am standing in the middle of the world's highest urban farm, a 10,000 square foot lush green haven that is also Edible Garden City's green baby. Supported by the DBS Foundation, these guys have a vision. A vision of sustainability for Singaporeans to eat well and eat locally sourced food. I'm Jerome Das, senior farmer at Edible Garden City, and I love spiders. You know this one? Yeah, right here. Okay. All right. What are we harvesting today? This is called cranberry hibiscus. It's a species of hibiscus which is very widespread in Singapore. It's beautiful, huh? So, Jerome, I understand that Edible Garden City, your sort of ethos or messaging is grow local, eat local, support local. Why is that so important to you guys? I feel like at the end of the day, when we are in a dire circumstance and our supply chains are cut off, local is all we have. And we need to be comfortable with growing things that are local, experimenting with the flavours that are available to us locally. If you talk about farm to table, you can talk about uh, reducing your carbon footprint. So it greatly reduces the amount of impact we have to the environment. Yeah, so right here we have the red amaranth. Whatever we grow here is uh, immediately used by the restaurant on a daily basis. There's no wastage of food. Yeah, because the farm is right here, the table yeah. is right there. Pretty much. All right, so what are we harvesting next? Yeah, we're moving on to the next plant called a fame flower. I think what a farm to table approach offers is you're able to see, you're able to touch, feel, smell the plants that you are about to eat. Yeah, we are social enterprise. We practice inclusive hiring at mm. Edible Garden City. DBS Foundation, it helps us reach more spaces, more communities. When we are doing a new project, they are first to support. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So actually, Leonard, uh, I realised that there's quite a bit of work in the garden to be done. What about you getting your hands dirty? Gotta work for my food, right? <laughs> Get on your knees, yeah, right. off everything around that path. There are like a few bugs here. Oh, this is not easy, huh? Come on, man, put your back into it. Yeah. It's only my first day, go easy, huh? <laughs> I noticed from over there that there was a bunch of crinkled leaves here, and that's probably a sign of a pest. Pest? Okay. Yeah, so maybe we can go and peel back these leaves. Ooh. Yep. What is that? So this is called a mealy bug. They suck the sap from the leaf. Wild pepper. I think they use this in Thai cooking. And in a lot of Mediterranean as well. So we're gonna dig up this plant. Get that, and then you pull, that? Out, pull out with your hand. Have you ever been this up close and personal with bees? I wasn't even thinking about the bees until you mentioned them, so... <laughs> Alright, are we almost done? We will never be almost done. Whew. So Edible Garden City's team of 40 worked tirelessly around the clock to maintain urban farms all throughout Singapore. Their aim? To allow Singaporeans and visitors alike to reconnect with nature, conserve natural resources, and to foster a really great community. This is exactly the kind of innovation that's helping Singapore step confidently into a climate-conscious future. This is One Arden's Australian speciality restaurant, Carla. Hard to beat this Level 51 view. Carla showcases a strong influence of seasonal produce sourced from the best local farms in Singapore. And of course, the rich harvest from the One Arden Chef's Garden right in the backyard. 
My name is Lam Lee Chua. I'm the executive chef for One Arden, and I love anything about art. So we will be making the Kala Coast Loop salad. And I remember this looks very familiar. I think it's yeah. the stuff that I picked up. So Chef, I, I heard that there is a rumour that your kitchen team and the gardeners from Edible Garden City have this group chat where yeah. you guys talk about stuff. I mean, this group chat is very important to us. We have to work very closely with them coming forward for our special menu. Mm. Also, you know, when it comes to the menu development, they need to know what variety they need to harvest six months in advance. So, example, let's say the salad by the salad itself, Today you come, you got this variety. Doesn't mm. mean the next week will be the same. Right. Chef, you have an apron. Maybe I can jump in and help you. This whole concept of like nose to tail where you don't waste anything. The travellers or the diners that come here to eat, do they really appreciate what you guys are doing? Yes, they do appreciate what we are doing because we always tell them the story. Mm. We will have a food tour for them oh, wow. before okay. the dinner. Yeah, so they appreciate the like lunch. where all the ingredients are. Exactly, from. so they actually have more understanding about what they are eating, everything is coming from. Okay, so this, we have the lobster meat together with the lobster reduction. Instead of just using the meat, you're also using the shell to make a stock which goes into the chawamushi. Yes, so nothing actually goes to waste. Zero waste policy, I love that. Yes. This is really how a salad should taste. Every single leaf in there, every single herb, you really taste it. As someone who eats but also cooks, this makes me so happy. You know, something like the farm-to-table thing wouldn't really have been possible that long ago. The fact that we have a beautiful garden right outside, the fact that we just harvested everything here. I also love that, you know, there's really not much carbon footprint to this. This is a true celebration of farming and food, where the chef and the farmer work together to create a beautiful loop. Sir, your bill. 